hello everyone welcome back to another video my name is Tunde Victor and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply color lookup table or lots in Photoshop so let's get started so someone asked me to make this video and I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now so Photoshop already has an inbuilt lot and if you want to see Photoshop lots all you have to do is come to your adjustment layer right here or you come down here and click on your adjustment layer and you are going to see color lookup right here so once you click on it just come to this um, 3d lots and just click on it and these ones right here are photoshop inbuilt lots so they are just um inbuilt they are like filter photoshop default filter so you can see them like this so you can see them they are all here so let's say you download a lot online or you bought a lot online and you want to apply it to photoshop and you don't know how to do it this video is for you so the first thing you are going to do just come to your adjustment layer click on your color lookup like this and come to load 3d lot so just click on load 3d lot and click on load 3d lot right here and just look for um the place where your a lot is saved to your system so i'll just come to my lots right here these are the lots i have right here so i'll just open it and i have encourage lots and i have points missing slots and um i can't give you this slot for free because they are selling it if i give you this slot for free the photographers or the creators of this slot are not going to be happy with it so if you want to get the encourage lot just go to www.encourage.com and if you want to get the prismation slot which are these signature skins right here just go to prismation.sefi.com and i'll be putting that uh, website the link to those websites in the screen right now so you can see so if you want to get this lot just go and buy the lots so after um locating where you downloaded the lot on your laptop you can just click on the lots like this i'm just going to be using this encourage lot one right here and just click on load lots so once i click on load lots you can see the before and the after this lot is really looking good for this image see the before and after it, it fits perfectly so it's not all lots that's going to fit to your image that's why you have to keep trying them and you have to keep uh, maybe sometimes you can reduce the opacity if you feel it's too much or you can increase the opacity if you feel it's not too much or you can also duplicate the lot by clicking on ctrl j to make the effect look more, more intense so this is after this is before i duplicated it and this is after i duplicated it to make the effect look intense but i'm just going to delete this because i really don't like it i like this one right here so let's try one of Prince Macy's lots. So I just come to my load 3D lot again. Come to my load 3D lot. And um, let's try this signature one for Prince Macy's lot. And then click on load lot. And yeah, see this um, lot doesn't really go well for this image. Because this lot is for dark skin. So if, if I have a dark skin model and I load this lot, it would have really worked well for the image. But this, this is the light skin model. This lot does not work well. So I'm just going to try another one of Prismacy's light skin tune lots. So I'll come to my uh, 3D lots again. I'll come to my load lots. And I'll just use, um, let's say, signature 6. And click on load. So you can see, this is the before and this is the after. But right now, I feel it's too intense. So I'm just going to reduce the opacity to about 48. So see the before. And see the after you can see how good this image is right now so that's how you apply color lookup table a lot in photoshop and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a like so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well and also if you want to learn how to use focus separation and how to get the right focus separation blur radius make sure to click on this video showing your screen right now i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative